The top 10 places to live in the U.S. was recently released. Is your city on the list? I'm Allison Warnerowski with the W Real Estate Group in Raleigh, North Carolina. This video is going to reveal the top 10 places to live in the U.S. according to the latest rankings from U.S. News and World Report. And to be honest, I was a little surprised by some of them. We will first briefly review how the cities were ranked, and then we will go over the list itself. And finally, I'll give you my overall thoughts. The cities were ranked through four different categories, quality of life, value, desirability, and job market, with the percentages for each voted on by Americans on what was most important to them. The quality of life category is as it sounds, how satisfied are residents with their everyday lives. This includes consideration for crime, education, overall well-being, traffic, healthcare, air quality, and FEMA risk. The value index quantifies how comfortably the average resident can live within their means. This is done through the Housing Affordability Index, as well as the Price Parity Index that compares overall goods and services to the rest of the country. The Desirability Index answers the question, do people want to live there? This is measured by a desirability survey sent out to Americans, looking at the numbers of how many are moving in and out of the city, the weather in terms of days above 32 and under 90 degrees, and establishments like restaurants and bars versus the population. And lastly, the job market measures the unemployment rate and the average salary for the area. All of those categories are combined to obtain an overall score used to develop the list. So now, let's take a look at the top 10. Coming in at number 10 is Fayetteville, Arkansas, with one of the highest value scores on the list. Your money goes further here with some great amenities. The area has been really growing lately and has attracted many who enjoy the outdoors due to its great outdoor spaces and abundance of state parks, as it's located right next to the Ozark Mountain Range. Fayetteville is also known to have a great sense of community as the city puts on many events and festivals, and everyone comes together to cheer on the Razorbacks as the University of Arkansas is located there. Next up is number nine, Colorado Springs, Colorado. About an hour south of Denver, Colorado Springs is a large city, but aims to preserve a small town feel. It has a fun downtown, plenty of eateries and shops, and the city has over two dozen breweries to enjoy. If you love the outdoors, this is the place for you, as there are more hiking and mountain biking trails than you can count. It's also home to the Olympic and Paralympic training centers. Its cost of living is a little higher than many on the list, but it's a much cheaper option than Denver for those who love the area. Moving on, number eight is Charlotte, North Carolina. As the number two banking hub in America behind just New York City, Charlotte has a booming economy and it's the largest city with the most big city feel in this whole list. There is plenty of late night entertainment for the younger crowd and Charlotte has an excellent restaurant scene. The NBA's Hornets and the NFL's Panthers call Charlotte home as well so there is no shortage of the big city entertainment. Coming in at number seven is Portland, Maine. This coastal community has amazing beauty and is a great place for those who enjoy the outdoors with some great hiking trails and cross-country skiing. But you have to be okay with the cold as average highs in the winter are in the mid 20s and expect to see plenty of snow. Besides the outdoor activities, Portland draws people with their fresh seafood, a fun music and nightlife scene, and it has the small town charm you'd expect. Next up is number six, Naples, Florida, an ideal spot for retirees who love the warm weather and the beach. Naples is known as a retiree destination, as well as having a rather wealthy population, and it's one of the most expensive places to live in the top 10. But for those who can afford it, it's an amazing place to live with quick access to the clear blue waters of the Gulf of Mexico, pristine golf courses, and a popular local assortment of breweries, bars, and restaurants. Staying in Florida, number five is Sarasota, another city on the beautiful Gulf of Mexico and a slightly cheaper option than Naples. Sarasota provides some excellent seaside entertainment with a variety of restaurants, bars, and shops overlooking the Gulf. It's known for its lively art and music scene. Moving on, number four is no stranger to the top 10, Boulder, Colorado. This picturesque mountain town is just north of Denver and it's an outdoor lover's paradise. Boulder is surrounded by more parks than you can count and it's right next to some of the best skiing and snowboarding in the region. And like Colorado Springs, the restaurant and brewery scene is excellent. But all of this does come at a price, as it's right up there with Naples, Florida as the most expensive place to live on this list. Next up is by far my favorite, and yes, I'm biased because I live and work here. Number three is the Metro of Raleigh and Durham, North Carolina. 
Often coupled together as they are two large cities that border each other, Raleigh and Durham have also been in this top 10 routinely. The area is an up and coming tech hub, home to the world's largest technological research center in the Research Triangle Park, which has attracted the likes of Google, Apple, and Meta. So its job market is one of the hottest in the country. Raleigh is known as a big city with a small town feel. It has an up and coming food scene, tons of breweries, one of the best college sports scenes in the country, and several professional sports teams. But its greatest strengths are in its park system, as there are greenways, parks, and lakes around every corner, with great weather to enjoy them year round. If you're interested in the Raleigh-Durham area, please don't hesitate to reach out. Number two on the list is Huntsville, Alabama. Put on the map by its large NASA presence, Huntsville has a strong economy anchored by many engineering and defense jobs. And with warm weather most of the year, there are plenty of opportunities to enjoy its numerous parks, and the downtown area is constantly hosting outdoor events. One of the greatest benefits of Huntsville is its affordable housing market, as despite the nationwide housing boom, Huntsville has been able to maintain lower cost housing in comparison to many similar sized cities. And for the number one spot, we have Green Bay, Wisconsin. Known to most for the Green Bay Packers, these rankings describe it as having the perfect mix of big city amenities complete with a Midwestern small town feel. Green Bay has an underrated entertainment and art scene with a revitalized downtown. There are numerous museums and local boutique style shopping downtown, and it has a great craft beer scene as well. It's also right next to Lake Michigan, which is a lively place during the summer. And like Huntsville, Green Bay has a very affordable housing market for its size. All right, so there's the top 10. To give my thoughts, I am obviously thrilled that Raleigh and Durham came in at number three, as I live and work here and I absolutely love it. And it appears the rankings were pretty thorough given all the categories involved. But I would suggest adding a factor that takes harsh weather into account. I was surprised to see many Northern cities in the top 25, not because they don't have a lot to offer, but because I hear from so many people relocating from the North, how tough the winters can be. So Green Bay coming in at number one was surprising to me. Again, not because it doesn't sound like a great place, but because my mental model of Green Bay is seeing the Packers Stadium in the winter with either snow or negative degree wind chills. I was also surprised to see places like Boulder, Colorado and Naples, Florida in the top 10, given how expensive they are. But clearly their amenities outweigh the cost for those who can afford to live there. And lastly, I was surprised by several cities that are very popular relocation destinations scoring lower than expected, such as the previous top spot contender in Austin, Texas at number 40, Tampa Bay, Florida at number 24, and Nashville, Tennessee at number 61. These are all great places to live, but as more people relocate to an area, many times you see them fall in the rankings as things get more expensive, which at least to me seems like it could be happening here. But overall, I think this survey did a great job as there are so many things to consider when choosing a place to live. For those interested in the Raleigh area, our team at the W Real Estate Group specializes in relocation and finding the perfect place that fits your needs. And we would love to help you. I'm Allison Warnerowski and thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.